Hi guys, in this video we're gonna be solving the two operators. So we're gonna start with 2.1. So 2.1, we just have to change everything to D method. So, so the left hand side will be equals to D. So I'm finding the factors of that. So D and D. So since the factors of this is difficult to find, you're just gonna use the the roots method. So because you can't find the factors of that equation, so you're gonna have to use the quadratic equation d equals to minus b plus or minus the root of b squared minus four ac, okay, divided by two a. So the factors here you're gonna get d minus 2 over 2 plus or minus a square root of so when you substitute everything you want to get minus 16 over 2 which is the same as minus 1 which is the same as so the minus will go away because of the minus 2 so it's a minus 2 into minus 2 okay so you'll have a plus one, you'll have a plus one. So you'll have a one plus or minus. What is a negative square root? Negative square root of one is equals to i. So in this case, you've got the minus 16, which is equals to a root of 16 times i. Therefore, we're gonna have four i over two. So your d, your d will be equals to plus one, plus or minus two i. Okay, so remember, this tells you that D equals to A plus or minus EI. So you go to the equation, your YCF will be equals to EAX, the formula C1 cos EX plus C2 sine EX. Therefore, your YCF will be equals to what is your a? Your a is 1, so you're going to have x, c1, cos 2x plus sine 2x. Okay, so that's your, that's your ycf. Then, you're going to have to solve the ypi now. So ypi, you just go to the original equation. So you go to this equation. So the ypi is that y there. So you need to say ypi equals to x plus 5 over d squared minus 2d plus 5. So that's what you need to do. So you're going to go and say ypi equals to x plus 5 divided by d squared, d squared minus 2d plus 5. Okay, so as you can see, this uses different theorems. So whenever you see x, you use a long division method. So I'm going to split this into two. So I'll have x divided by d squared minus 2d plus 5 plus 5. And the reason why I'm splitting this, guys, is because they use different uh, theorems. Plus 5, then you say plus 5 divided by d squared minus 2d plus 5. So this two uses this different theorem. So whenever you see a variable of x, just know that you have to use a long division. So in this long division, you just have to put a 1 there. So you're going to ignore the x and take 1 as your numerator and d squared minus 2d as your denominator. Okay? Then you rearrange the denominator plus d squared so you write it this way then you write one that side so this one is from here it's this one and then you rearrange that denominator to this form okay therefore we're gonna do the dmsb method so you divide you first divide so you're gonna say one divided by the first term which is five so you're gonna say one over five there then after doing the D, 
you go to m you multiply so you're gonna say 1 over 5 into everything 5 minus 2d plus d squared then you're gonna have 1 minus 2 over 5d plus d squared over 5 so that's what you're gonna have so you will put it here so you're gonna say 1 minus 2 over 5d plus d squared over 5 then you are done with the multiplication then you go to subtraction now that's why i put the minus outside that minus is for subtraction so obviously what's going to subtract is the one and one so you subtract the like terms so this one and this one will cancel therefore you will be left with a minus into minus 2 over 5 d plus d squared over 5 then you remove them the, the the bracket obviously you multiply out with the minus multiply out with the minus okay therefore you're gonna have 2 over 5 d plus d squared over 5 okay that's what you're gonna have oh sorry it's a minus minus it's a minus there then you repeat the method again you say this divided by the first term again then you're gonna have 2 over 5 d times 1 over 5 so when you divide or you can say 2 over 5 d divided by 5 you can do it this way so it's the same these two are the same so i, I normally multiply use the multiplication instead use the multiplication okay so if you multiply like this it's easier to solve it when it's multiplied like this it's easier to multiply it when it's like that okay so we're gonna divide and then you'll be left with you'll be left with the plus 2 over 25 d therefore you're gonna take your remainder this one you substitute it back to the equation so remember remember on the equation on the equation we said ignore the x and take out 1 over the denominator okay so let's go and substitute back so we're gonna have x into x into 1 over 5 we put the remainder there plus 2 over 25 d right so you're gonna have x over 5 when you multiply out plus 2 over 25 d of x so d of x is the differentiation of x then you're gonna have x over 5 plus 2 over 25 2 over 25 then remember we only took x so let's solve the other one the other one is 5 over d squared minus 2d plus 5 so this one because it's a constant you just have to put whenever you see a constant you just say e to the power 0 x that's why i didn't want to solve this one because it's easy and then you're gonna have your final answer as x over 5 plus 2 over 25 plus 5 over so remember the theorem for e says a equals to d for this one so in this case our d equals to 0 so we're gonna put 0 0 squared plus okay let's put a minus minus 2 into 0 plus 5 so our final answer will be x over 5 plus 2 over 25 okay and then plus 5 over 5 which is 1 so that's your ypi that's your ypi this is our ypi so we'll get 1 so this is our ypi and then to get your general solution you just have to combine the general solution will be equals to ypi plus ycf you just have to combine them okay guys thank you for watching please join our youtube channel also subscribe and comment if you do have any question please type me on the whatsapp